I hate crying at films and because of that I tend to avoid animal films but Charlotte's Web is one that I will always find adorable and very cute. I actually first saw this in the cinema so I would have seen it when it came out in 2006. Um, I have to say I've not read the book and I don't know how it compares so if you have read the book and you're familiar with the actual story you know I'd love to know if you think the film's true to the source material. I mean to the best of my understanding it is but there may be some character changes or anything I'd be quite interested to know about. This was directed by Gary Winnick and stars, well, wow, <laughs> you know, Dakota Fanning is our star, but the rest of the cast is just ridiculously amazing. Julia Roberts is Charlotte the Spider, Steve Buscemi is a rat, John Cleese is a sheep, Oprah Winfrey is a female goose, Kathy Bates is a cow, Thomas Hayden Church is a crow, it's ridiculous, <laughs> it's incredible. And Dakota plays, uh, Dakota Fanning plays Fern. And basically, if you're unfamiliar with this story, Wilbur is a little pig and he's scared because he knows what will happen at the end of the season to pigs making bacon. And Charlotte the Spider decides to help him help him find a way so that that doesn't happen. And it's all about nature helping one another. You know, you, you don't expect a pig to interact with a spider, but everybody pulls together in an attempt to save his bacon, I guess. And um, Fern is a, is a young girl on the farm who's obviously very fond of Wilbur. And uh, I've always enjoyed Dakota Fanning's younger work. She was absolutely adorable, brilliant child actress. Wilbur, as a pig, is so adorable. He's voiced by Dominic Scott Kay, and the visual quality of Wilbur is adorable. Now, I don't know how many actual piglets were used and how much of it was CGI. If you have that information, I would love to know that. I expect there were quite a few real pigs used and also, of course, CGI for some of the close-ups and things, I'm assuming. It's very sweet. It is emotional. I did cry. I will cry again if I ever watch it again. Unfortunately, I probably won't watch it again through choice because I just... I grew up watching sad animal films and my head's messed up so I kind of avoid them now when I use I watch films that I know will either be thrilling or gripping or entertaining not sad but regardless of that I will always hold this one dear to my heart because it is adorable and very well produced very well direct we have some great camera angles and points of view with Wilbur Charlotte as a character is very well presented it's very rare that you'll have a spider in a film who is a good guy or good woman in this case I think what they did with the character is very good. This is, for me, the best adaptation of Charlotte's Web I've ever seen. There are a couple of others. I've seen a couple of them. There are a few that I haven't seen. Um, but this is the kind of film that, had it been out when I was a child, um, I was 13 or 14 when this came out, depending on what time of the year it was. Um... But if you like things like Babe and Gordy, which I grew up with, I think you'll really enjoy this. As long as you do not mind crying at films or you have no heart, then Charlotte's Web is absolutely adorable and you need to see it. The production quality is brilliant. The narrative is adorable. I should probably read E.B. White's book. But for now, I'm just pretty happy with the film. <laughs>